Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So I guess a lot of news overnight is people looking at the, uh, the PMI data from China. Some of it disappointed, some of it came in just marginally better than expected. We also had confirmation that the Chinese Yuan will be added on to the IMS basket, basket of currencies. Um, major milestone for the country. The biggest impact it's going to have is potentially on the euro, which uh, did account for 37% of all FX trading. It's expected to drop down to about 30% of all FX trading when the yuan comes really into the foray in 2016, towards the end of 2016 as well. Um, and what we kind of see in there <clears throat> is moves in the uh, equity markets to uh, bounce a little bit higher on the US 30 uh, at 17,747, which has been a potential support level that we've talked about for quite some time now which also coincides to be that 21 period SMA. Um, German market is, uh, is ticking up, the UK market as well, uh, and Asia. So a lot of the Asian indices, I can see that the Hong Kong 43 is up, up about a percent, uh, Australia 200 is up a percent. Commodities have had a slight bit of a rebound as well, <clears throat> perhaps more of a relief rally than anything else. Uh, but non-farm payrolls is on Friday, that's gonna be massive. And of course you've got the ECB pol uh, monetary policy uh, decision on Thursday, and that's going to be pretty big as well. So looking at the UK 100, grinding ever 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 higher. Interesting candle formation yesterday. We managed to uh, hammer out the lows. We were much lower, got pushed into positive territory by the end of the session. We're approaching 64.15 now. Uh, so actually, having a look at the uh, the UK market, I'm going to have to completely redraw that now. I would even take this point here, but I think we have to look here. So that's a uh, that's probably a much more suitable potential resistance level to look at. 64.89 could be the next potential resistance. <clears throat> and that matches up that little bit more nicely as well. So then moving on to Japan, 2 to 5. Uh, great candle so far today. Bullish engulfing pattern. Uh, looks to be that we're at a recent high. I don't think we've been as high as this until maybe the tip of this candle. But 20,087 is in play. And that's been a resistance level that's been looked at for quite some time. Then moving on to dollar yen. Uh, dollar yen uh, was moving higher yesterday, reversed again uh, today. To be honest, dollar yen is not really that exciting at the moment. Uh, moving on to West Texas crude. Uh, we had a chance to rally yesterday, got pushed back down again. And a lot of people are talking about the illegal oil flow from, uh, from Syria and Iraq into Turkey at the moment. That's ruffling a few feathers and a lot of people are kind of questioning the Middle East oil uh, aspect many, many times. Uh, and that's maybe having a little bit of an impact on depressing prices because uh, China, the PMI data is not that bad. It's not that great either, but China has been a, quite a decent proxy for West, Ex West Texas crude as well. If their demand is slowing, you normally expect West Texas to go down a little bit lower. Certainly $42 seems to be a potential resistance level that's been in play for some time. Longer term potential support, $37.50. Looking at the yellow metal, uh, interestingly, it managed to kind of rally up yesterday. We had some disappointing data out of the US. Let me go back to yesterday. Um, we had the Chicago survey data came in at 48.7 versus 54. Uh, and the housing index sales uh, figures were, were pretty rubbish as well. Uh, and then if we look at today, we've actually got a couple of extra bits of data to come out. You've got lots of PMI data. We've already had it from China. We've got some of it coming out from, uh, from Germany. We've got the Eurozone, uh, the UK, employment da uh, data as well. And then finishing up with more uh, US PMI data and domestic auto industry sales later on in the session. So that could make things quite interesting in regards to, you know, will they or won't they raise interest rates in the US? This is a kind of unusual step for gold to make. Um, it had a decent day yesterday. It's rallying up again today. I guess a dollar has kind of reversed course a bit. You've got cable and your dollar bouncing a little bit higher. Um, but those are, those are some decent moves for the yellow metal. Unable to break through resistance as of yet. So finishing up with uh, euro dollar and GBP USD. So euro dollar. Um, not really doing a huge amount, but grinding lower towards one spot, 0524. People are beginning now to talk about parity. Uh, it's already come off so much. Like how much of an interest rate hike has been priced in to euro dollar already is a very good question. But hopefully we don't have that much longer to wait. Remember, we've got ECB policy decision on Thursday, non-farm payrolls on Friday, and then we actually have the FOMC decision mid-December uh, as well. So that's when they'll make the decision about what's going to happen next. And then if we finish up with GBP USD, modest bounce, uh, hammer formation yesterday, bullish engulfing pattern again today, 
one spot 5110 is the next potential uh, resistance to look out for on that FX pair. So guys, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.